got a draw today with um, Marie Sebag. Tell us something about the game. Um, she's a very strong player, and I thought I should not go any tactical openings. I should just play solidly. So I had to try my best to play the bishop f4 variation. Mm -hmm. That looks too solid for me. And it worked, it really worked, because I, uh, I think I, I handled the opening correctly. Right. So it was fairly level most of the game? Were there any, any swings of fortune in the game, or was it fairly steady? It was just fairly steady, positionally equal, mm -hmm. with both chances, but too solid for, yeah. for the game. But you've stopped that run of defeats now, so you'll be feeling pretty good. Yeah, now I'm very confident. Yeah. At yeah. least today, I'm, I'm concerned a bit. Yeah. I had a run like you once in a tournament. Um, exactly the same results as you so far. And I got a draw in this round as well. So you're mirroring my result in 1997 in Cardiff. So, and I finished that, that tournament feeling very happy because I won in the last round. So this is, you know, if you win in the last round, you'll be feeling good. Anyway, let's, let's have a look at the game. Okay, thank you. Okay, Julian, um, we've got a Slav defense here and you've got white. What happened next? Okay, here there are a lot of options to play knight c3. If d takes c4, I can go a4. But in this kind of opening, since my opponent was highly rated, mm -hmm. I thought it's better to play a solid opening. That's why I opted to to play c takes. Gotcha. This has a reputation of being very solid for white. Yeah. It's very hard for black to get play, isn't it? Yeah. Captures here. And then bishop, you your bishop out to here. Is the, what, what's the, what's, what other moves? You, I mean, you can play a knight out here as well, can't you? But you prefer the bishop f4 variation. Uh, the bishop is usually played uh, to secure the e3 faster. Yes as one of their fundamental, because when my bishops are open, mm -hmm. there can be few strategic, strategical chances for black. Yes. So I opted to play bishop f4 instead of knight, knight c3. c3. Yeah, okay. So we continue knight c6 and e3. e3. Uh, knight c, knight f6, knight c3, and bishop f5. So, okay, quite a very strong move. It looks so symmetrical. Yes. But the only thing I could do here is just to exchange my 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 bad bishop against this active bishop. Yes. So for me it was even quite logical to play an exchange at this stage. Okay. Is is black got any, got any alternatives? I mean, for example, could black play back to g6 to try and create an imbalance in the position, or is this...? This merely improves my position. Yeah. You're okay, for example, you can play bishop g6 or mm -hmm. bishop d7. Yes, that looks yeah. artificial, doesn't it, bishop yeah, d7? Yeah, but this just speeds up my development, because I'll just develop my knight Yes, and... yeah. Okay, so captures, captures, very logically e6. And you played h3. Yes, this move was played to prevent knight h5 mm -hmm. because now yeah. when I play something like knight f3 and knight h5 my bishop comes out and black yeah. can try to create mm -hmm. some play yeah. because the bishop can secure the dark squares and help to attack yeah. here. It's an important piece for you isn't it the bishop so you want to preserve the bishop for... Yes. Yeah. Okay so h3 very logical. Bishop e7, knight f3. All these are very natural moves aren't they to here. And here your opponent played knight d7. Okay, I was quite not expecting this move. What did you expect in that, that position? Mm. In this position, I opted maybe for rook, east, rook c8. Rook yeah. c8. Rook c8 was the move I expected to try to occupy the, the, c4. the open file. Yeah. Or rather, bishop d6, just try to exchange there. Yes. The bishops. But for knight d7, it was quite a surprise. Okay. But you just continue with your plan of playing natural developing moves, I guess. 
Yes, I had to also take yes. control of my C file. Yeah. And so her plan is to play a knight. She's probably targeting the square here, isn't she, to try and... Yes, yes, this is the most vulnerable square. Yeah. So I can, in this case, She's the only problem that, you... that I had yeah. was to defend against the C4 square. And all that I did was just going around the C4 square yeah. and also try to exchange this dangerous knight. Yes. This one looks much more dangerous than this one. Yeah, she's hoping so, that you play b3, but of course this weakens the dark squares here. Yes, so I had to hesitate a bit. Yeah. So that's why I played mm. queen, queen b1. No, you played queen, queen e2. Oh, queen e2, also queen e2. Right? Yeah, also queen e2. E2. Okay. Keeping an eye on this pawn as well, if the yes. knight comes here. But at first I saw queen Oh, queen queen should we look at that? Queen d1? Yes, queen d1. Trying to exchange the oh, okay. same active knight was too logical. Right. Wouldn't, what's, what's your counter to this move now? On here I just play... B3? B3, that's all. Okay, so you just chase it back again, yes. yeah, I suppose so. Right. Yeah, um, just a minute, I have if to, to knight, do that. Okay. Knight A3 doesn't look right, does it? But maybe, maybe... Well, it probably doesn't make any difference because in the end you played A3 and B3, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, okay. well we'll look at Queen E2 and she played a6. Okay. Which I guess is stopping. Preventing queen b5 or knight b5. Yeah. And you, uh, here, here you played queen d1. Yeah, queen d1. Queen d1, yeah. Okay, yeah. I also wanted to create some chances of exchanging this knight. Yes. And also yeah. taking control of the c5 square. C5 yeah. square yeah, in case okay. of, oh, sorry. It's okay. In case my opponent refuses to trade the knight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so she now does play knight c4, and you chase it back again. Here I was expecting knight a3. Knight a3, okay. Knight a3, but on there, I just planned also to play knight to a4. So I tried to create some play yeah. and exchange of these powerful ducks where bishops. Okay. Yes, okay. Yeah. Both knights on the edge of the board. <laughs> but anyway, knight b6, she's just trying to provoke what might the be a weakness. The dark square's weakness, yes. Okay, so you, down, you now play a3. a3. I think this was my saving move. It yeah. just closes up the, the options for black on the queen side. Yeah, can't go there, can't go there. Got no way. No into your, way into your position. So she plays rook c8, which is quite logical. Yeah, the long awaited move. I'd expected this move a long time. Several moves ago, yeah. yeah. And you play knight e1. Really super solid chess here. Yeah. Pieces on the back rank, getting ready for any, any kind of incursions yeah. into your position. Here. Yes, just also trying to m4 for the c5 yeah. square. Yeah. I think, I think I play a bit like you as well, Julian. Oh, I like to have my pieces on the back rank to stop people doing things to me. This is a good plan. Okay, but not <laughs> too attacking. <laughs> okay, bishop f6. Okay, yeah. I saw that my opponent wanted to have a breakthrough in the center. Yeah, a break in the so center. So I had to just stop that and also try to create my chances on the green side. Okay, so when you played knight e2, you're thinking about if this happens, that maybe you can establish a knight on this square? No, yes. you probably... Yeah, if this yeah, is played here, I can just take take and put my knight on d4. Okay, so if knight takes... Yes, I can just put my knight on d4. And then... It, okay, it yeah. looks much stronger. Yeah. It yeah. looks okay. much stronger. But on here again, I saw something like a sacrifice. Oh, okay. On, well, just... Oh, sorry, do you want to go back? Yes. How far back? Back here somewhere? Okay. E5? Before E5? Back here? Here if I played... Uh, Sorry, this is back to play again. Here. Okay, here if I played knight D3. Knight D3, yeah. Uh, I saw a, a problem somewhere here because there can be options of even taking... Really? Yes. Taking... Oh, I see, because this is... It's also... Vulnerable, okay. okay. Take here, I presume. 
threat against this, but this can be defended. Yes, the, this knight there. Can this just be defended with... And queen f6. Ah, and then there's no more f6 defenders. f looks too strong. Yeah, that's pretty so. good, isn't it? So you just want to go back one move. Can, you, can this be played? Okay. That's... Yeah, then queen f6. Queen f6. I'm struggling here. How do I defend this? Yeah. I saw <laughs> queen, that queen, queen e1. One? Yes. Then maybe try to play rooks on the. It looks uh, unbalanced, but the position is still, still very interesting. Yeah. I didn't want the game to take such a turn. Yeah. I wanted just it to be. Yeah. Level. Keep it nice and smooth and even. Yeah. Okay. So you played knight e2, and queen e7 got played. Okay. Position. Keeping an eye on this pawn here. Yes. Okay, so now you play knight d3. Knight d3, stopping the e5. Yeah. If black pushes e5, I just take take and also put my knight on d4. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? And so she just played a waiting move, h6. Maybe thinking okay. about g5, I suppose. Maybe on a good day. Yeah, but uh, this one didn't create too much fears because uh, Looking at the number of pieces that I have on my key yeah. side is also safe for me. Yeah, it's fairly safe, isn't it? So, queen d2. Okay, trying to get some some control over the dark squares. Mm -hmm. Stop maybe in a future knight a5. Yeah. So she brings her other rook into play. On this one, I thought she's trying to to support the advance. Of, ah. of the e5 and right. later on maybe try to push d4 okay so i had to make sure so you drop the bishop back to g3 yeah okay so this was just that. merely a waiting move if yeah. black opens the center i could have a move at hand yeah yeah so she tries to support the e5 push with another knight yes yes so I played knight f4, and g to f4. Okay. After e5, I can also take on d5. Of course. This was just to stop e5. Yes. Yeah, that's right, because that's right. So she can't do that. But she plays g6 to stop, maybe to stop you going to h5. Give her bishop some freedom to go back. Yes, and also maybe to activate the king. Activate the king, I saw yeah. that maybe the game could take a stage of playing on the king side after these moves. Yeah. And rook a2, so you're thinking about doubling? Yes, I was expecting here. after some moves, some moves then. I can also double my rooks to gain some play. At the moment this is vulnerable of course, but later. Yeah. So she tries to regroup on the queen side. She's maybe thinking about coming uh, here. Knight b5 moves. attacking yeah. a3, yeah. So now you play your knight back to d3. Okay. Yes. It's logical. Yes, in any case, I should guard against my dark square. My dark yes. square. In yeah. case of any invasion, I can just push and try to exchange as more pieces as possible. Yeah. So now she exchanged a pair of rooks and brought the other rook into play. And you go back again. Okay, so I couldn't play rook c2 no. because my pawn would hang. Okay, so this was only yeah, maybe to try and exchange the, the queens as well and yeah. to gain some more space. So rook c6, okay, she's probably hoping to get the queen round here and then yes, to double the, 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 the queen and rook. It takes time to do though for black, doesn't it? And you've, of course, you've got this move Very long way. to chase it back. And then she thought, well, I'm not getting anywhere. Yes, because rook b6. Yeah, rook b6. Uh, there's, there's bishop c7. Wow. Yeah. And yes. the rook is trapped. It's trapped, yeah. So she's yeah. really got not, not, much, not much choice but to go back to c8. And you're Play back to d3 to wait to see what she does. Yes, because this one also stops yeah. e5. So um, I don't make sure the, op the position has to be closed. Yeah, so um, she has run out of ideas in this position for 
improving her position. Have you any idea what were you sort of expecting if she plays on here? Here, I think maybe just try to regroup the pieces with knight c6 yes. and maybe try to push on the king side. But I, as I said, there's no bigger threat because I have my pieces also on my king side. Mm -hmm. Okay, super Thank solid. Oh, thanks. No way through. Thanks, thanks very much, Jimmy. <laughs>